I noticed in my left ankle that there was a swelling that began. It was something I woke up with. My foot just doubled the size. They said it would go away. They told me that I was just getting old. I was misdiagnosed for over 20 years. When you have lymphedema, you feel like you're very much alone. 10 million Americans suffer from LE. First of all, medical schools didn't teach lymphatics, so doctors left medical schools unable to diagnose the disease. Early detection is key. This disease is incurable and progressive. Once they found out about their lymphedema, they were often told not to complain and just find a therapist. I am bandaged all the way up, both legs. It is horrible. Our website has become a place where lymphies can come to find our centers of excellence, where they can go for treatments and consultation or surgeries. The centers guarantee that each institution has undergone a rigorous review of standards and services. They can find and join learn chapters that have sprung up in cities all over the world. People come to our Walk Learn events every year. They meet hundreds of others who struggle day in, day out, just like them. You have to have people there for you. It's the first time um, in my life that I can say I have friends with the same thing I have. I've had lymphedema for 35 years, and I'm finally embracing my condition. Visit our website for the library of resources, hundreds of videos on every imaginable topic related to research and the care and treatment of lymphatic diseases. The growth in knowledge and the growth in interest in lymphatic problems is almost uniquely due to the impact of this organization, which has been profound at a governmental level, at a financial level, and in a way in which scientists have felt empowered to pursue the questions that need to be answered today and tomorrow. We fought for our government to fund a chronic disease awareness program through our Centers of Disease Control. We succeeded, and we went to Congress as well, which mandated that a National Commission on Lymphatic Diseases be established. The Department of Defense in the United States had a $370 million research budget. Thanks to our lobbying efforts, that has now been opened up, and lymphedema and lymphatic diseases are now two categories eligible for research. The future is bright. However, we have a long way to go before people living with lymphatic diseases begin to see the new treatments and cures for the diseases that we hope to bring them. And so the fight goes on, and that fight goes on together. The message is hope, and all of you have learned to thank for that in large measure. We need to put a face on lymphedema and lymphatic diseases. We need to support LEARN financially, and my heart will certainly be with all of you. I now feel, and I now have hope, that in my lifetime, there might be a cure for lymphedema, and that's something I haven't felt in a very long time.